Lisa. The past is a ghost, the future is a dream, and all we ever have is now. Bill Cosby. We all know Bill Cosby as a comedian, but he is so much more than just that. A writer, an actor, and an activist, Bill Cosby is a legend. Bill Cosby said, a thought comes, a true feeling, a funny feeling, and I get to develop it. Writing is more fun than performing because I get to color with words. His family-friendly humor is what he is known best for. Combined with his use of facial expressions and body and hand movements, he can almost tell the story without any words, as you can see from the pictures. Today I'd like to share with you four speeches given by Dr. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby's keynote speech at Carnegie Mellon University, Black and Right, Cosby on Parenting 3, and Brain Damaged Kids. <laughs> Brown versus the Board of Education. By the end of my speech, I am sure you will agree, Dr. Bill Cosby's use of comedic humor, passion, and his drive to educate children can make people stop, listen, and think. During Dr. Bill Cosby's keynote speech at Carnegie Mellon University, he spoke about being proud of who you are and proud of where you, you came from. Don't allow someone who graduated from Harvard make you feel inferior because you graduated from a less prestigious college. There is no labor a person does that is undignified, if they do it right. Don't talk yourself into being someone you're not. You are good. Be yourself and be prepared. He also said, I don't know what the key to success is, but the key to failure is trying to please everybody. Dr. Cosby's use of pauses in his speeches really helped to drive home his point and caused me to pause and think. The next speech I'd like to share with you is Black and Right on Parenting 3. His passion for parenting really came through in his voice and his facial expressions. He spoke of what an honorable position being a mother and father is. Parents can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. To quote Dr. Bill Cosby, human beings are the only creatures on earth who allow their children to come home. Parents are not interested in justice, they're interested in peace and quiet. He spoke of an epidemic of TV and radio and the foul language used. He says we should filter what our kids are watching and know what they own. And when children complain about how algebra is so boring but Game Boy is exciting, we should explain to them that a person, the person who invented Game Boy was probably very good at algebra, read, mm -hmm. and did their homework. The third speech of Dr. Bill Cosby's I'd like to share with you is Brain Damaged Kids. He explained how we always want to do what we are told not to do. He used Adam and Eve and how God had told them not to eat the forbidden fruit as an example of how long this has been going on. If God had a hard time keeping Adam and Eve in line, we are to expect to have some problems with our children. He said there is hope for our future because God has a sense of humor and we are funny to God. <laughs> he also jokes women don't want to hear what you think, women want to hear what they think but in a deeper voice. <laughs> the final speech I'd like to talk to you about today is his speech on Brown versus the Board of Education. Dr. Cosby is angry with America. He brings up Brown versus the Board of Education where the Supreme Court ruled it was unconstitutional to have segregation in schools and how Afro-American children got hit in the face with rocks and punched in the face trying to get an education trying to go to school. These days, these knuckleheads don't even want to speak English. They have all kinds of crap coming out of their mouths called slang. What good is education if nobody wants it? Parenting is not going on. We can't keep asking Jesus to do things for us. The church is only open on Sundays, and God is tired of you. Let's try to do something. Let's try to make Jesus smile. Let's start parenting. 
As you can see from the four speeches I shared with you today, Bill Cosby's keynote speech at Carnegie Mellon University, Black and Right Cosby on Parenting 3, Brain Damaged Kids, and Brown versus the Board of Education. Dr. Bill Cosby is much more than just a comedian. He is an inspirational man with a unique ability to touch people's hearts.